We've just arrived in the northern Syrian village of Ka and the Generation Freedom School behind me. This school is not only for the children locally, but also the many hundreds that come from the camp over there, children and families who have left their homes from within Syria itself to come to a safer place. Today we're here with the Human Appeal to try and give out a number of gifts and put a smile on the faces of these wonderful children. A year ago, there were less than 200 children at this school. Now the figure is close to 1,000. The playground and classrooms are filled with youngsters whose parents have fled their homes and villages. Watching them laugh and sing, you can almost forget the reason why they're here, why they're not in their own schools being taught by familiar faces. And then suddenly, the reality hits you. Her name's Raga, she's 10 years old from a village called Kaframba. She was out in the fields and there was an airstrike. As a result, she lost her leg. And you know what's really touching is when we asked her as to how does she actually feel about her situation. Yes, she's upset, but what she mentioned was that, Alhamdulillah, praise be to God that she was the only one that was injured and nobody else was injured. So even in that situation, for a young child of that age, she's been thinking about those around her. Despite everything that's happened to them, these children are still proud to be Syrian. Home for now may be a tent in a dusty field, but school time is a chance for a normal life, and the joy of that is written on their faces. With your support, we've come along to put a smile on these beautiful faces here today. And these are simple school bags with a few books and some pens, and they might not be similar to the computers and the high technology that we have back at home. But for these children, it's a lifeline to keep a smile on their face, keep them thinking about anything but the conflict. So inshallah, let's go around. Bismillah. Many of these children had to leave their homes with little more than the clothes on their backs. It was truly humbling to see how much happiness you can give with a simple school bag and some colored pens. I wish we had more to give these children, but with your help we can come back to this school and others like it. We can make a difference. I think today we've learned how important it is for a child to have some kind of distraction from the issues that they're facing. And you know, our visit here today, the small gifts that we brought for them, it's meant a lifeline to them. It's like a, it's a smiles across their faces to see visitors, to have gifts, and to be able to come to school despite what's going on around them. It really has made a difference in their lives.